Hello, everyone, and welcome to this week's episode. It's Lex on TV. Of course, it's all about life. And of course, you know, I love featuring great talent on this show. And my next guest is no exception. I have joining me today, Kiana Bob. Kiana is an air traffic controller uh, by profession. And now she's taking that passion and that love that she's got for that specific field to create something truly brilliant indeed for all of us, not just for the children. She is the author of Adventures of Zola and Sage Women in Aviation. It's going to be exciting right here. She talks about her journey getting to the end product. And we also have a special guest reader joining us on the show today. Who's going to read a couple of pages from this very exciting book. So stay tuned. It's going to be another exciting one right here on like Sand TV. Tell your friends, hit the notification button. Remember, do not miss a thing. We'll be right back up. Hey y'all, this is Onika coming to you from the Signature Theater, last night, closing night of Black No More, and you are looking at... Lex and TV! Welcome back everyone to this exciting episode right here on Lex and TV. You know, it's all about life. It's about life, it's about people, it's about their experiences, it's about their growth, it's about them writing books. Yes, <laughs> joining me today. Is a young woman I knew, my goodness, since she was knee high, since she was a little, little girl. And now she's she's all grown up. She is a uh, air traffic controller by profession. And now she's an author. I have Kiana Bob joining me today on Lexan TV. Kiana, how are you doing? And welcome. Finally. <laughs> Thank you, Lexan. I know. Thank you for having me. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. You are here because this is not about me, but as a mother, I I, I get excited with stories um, created for children, uh, the audience is children. And listen, young lady, we need to talk about this, okay? <laughs> <laughs> yes, we do. So my, yes, we do. I do. Congratulations. Congratulations. It's Adventures of Zola and Sage Women in Aviation. And I think, I think this is brilliant. You know, well yeah. done. Thank well you. Done. I firstly, I, I really want to talk to you about your love for aviation because um, you did mention also in your bio in the book that you know you just had a love for it, and it is such a non-traditional career choice for yeah. a lot of young women, specifically in Grenada. So, Kiana, let's start at the beginning the love for aviation, where did that all happen? How did it happen? Okay, so it started uh, basically on the morning, like very early morning, getting ready for school. Probably before that, because I, from since I was born, I traveled a lot. But from what I can remember, getting ready for school at the St. George's Anglican, Every morning, it's either Liat or Caribbean style. We'll be flying over between that 6.30 to 7 o'clock period. And I guess at the time they were going to St. Vincent. I can't remember. The, the schedules change like every year. So I guess at the time they were going to St. Vincent, but they'll be flying over, you know, they just depart. And you'll go say, so you'll hear the propellers. At that time, we were using a Dash 8 and they were pretty low. So, you know, you go outside, you see the planes flying over, like, Oh, look at this plane flying over. And then, yeah, exact, exactly like that. And then now when you're traveling, now you've seen all the different planes all around, the flight attendants, the pilots. Yeah. So it started from a very young age, you know, constant traveling and then being at home, seeing the planes fly over. I even remember when um, Barack Obama was in Trinidad and the fighter jets were here every morning like we knew the schedule i knew the schedule my brother and i so we'll be outside we just happened to like okay let's say from day one day two we know they're passing over six o'clock so you know every six o'clock we up and we outside to, to pass over so it started like from then um probably before that but that's what i can remember though wow and you know you're speaking about that and clearly from experience you know you talk about ng you talk about dash eight and i'm like oh listen to her go <laughs> you know i did you ever 
want to become, let's say, because it is a, attached to that specific field. An in hostess, a, a stewardess. Did you ever thought about that? That was the first one. <laughs> that was the first hostess. idea. Yeah. yeah. Because, you know, when, you, when you're traveling as a child, that's the first thing you would see. Put the first person, you know, pretty lady. And you know how little trend attracted to ladies, you know, like, not in a bad way, but, you know, they're pretty. I'm like, oh, she's so pretty. I want to do this. I want to do that. Right. So it's like that. It was like that. And then um, it switched over to pilots for like a brief moment, but then back to air hostess and then changed all of that to pharmacist and I think a physiotherapist, meteorologist. So you see the meteorologist came in going right That's back <laughs> into it. And then okay. air traffic control came up somewhere during my secondary school period and then at the end of secondary school, I was like, you know what? Somewhere in the sky. Even astronaut. Astronaut was an, an, a, a thought as well. Because I had so many books on the stars and the constellation. I still have yeah. two. I had so many of those growing up. So it's like everything was Kiana and the sky. <laughs> That's the thing. It, it, it was there. It was there and it was yeah. just a matter of time. It was just a matter of time for you to just find your place. That's you right. in your place. And then when you started loving it more because now you're in it. Yeah. Bam. <laughs> <laughs> then That's bam. right. You know? Yeah. So I want to talk about this because I know this is really, you're paying homage to women who are a little girl. And, and yeah. In, you know, in the industry. How old is this book now? This book would have been launched how long? It was launched in Grenada the end of May in 2021, mm -hmm. but launched in general on March 29th on Amazon. So persons in the US and Canada, they got it from Amazon before it was actually launched here. So let's talk about the story. And I really want to find out because, you know, I, I'm into writing for children as well even though I've been on a somewhat hiatus but yeah. I really want to find out before before you break down the story for us mm -hmm. for the viewers Zola and Sage how did you come up with the names of Zola and Sage I love it <laughs> so I'm a great anatomy fan <laughs> and Dr. Meredith Gray and her husband at that moment in the show adopted a pretty black girl. I think she came in with a, a I think she came in with a, an illness and she was supposed to die and her name was Zola. And yeah. I think I have somewhere along in my family line someone named Zola and the name just kept popping up. I know there's a two-year-old right now in Grenada named Zola. So much other kids with the name Zola right now, but Zola was just ringing somehow. And Sage came about from my friend who is Antiguan. We were talking at the time and I asked, I was like, well, this is what I'm about and I'm thinking about a next name. And then he was like, why not use the name Sage? Because it's just shorts and just I'm like, yeah, that sounds good. And then I went yeah. on to using the name Zola and Sage and only a few days to remember that my neighbor's name is actually Sage. And I was like, wow, <laughs> look at how all of this is aligning. <laughs> yes, so, yeah. make it happen. Yeah. That's right. So I know you wanted I knew you wanted to do this story based on, on the bio and the information that, you know, we really wanted to do this to encourage, encourage little girls, young women to get That's involved. Right. So break down the story of the adventures of Sola and Sage in women in aviation. Break down the story for us. Tell us a little bit about, even though we want folks to to purchase, but just yes. give them a little synopsis as to what the story is on. Okay, so let's start with the title, Adventures of Zola and Sage. Right? So it says a lot. It's going to be different adventures. 
they'll be doing different things. I am thinking about keeping it in aviation, but there are a lot of other topics that need to be discussed. But I won't mm-hmm. disclose that now because we're on the aviation aspect. So it will be a lot of adventures with Zola and Sage, but their first adventure is about women in aviation because, you know, COVID came about and persons had more time on social media to think and they had more time to go through things, discover new things. And that's where I saw persons discovering that they never knew there were female pilots, which was a shock because I'm like, we're in 2022. How did I make it make sense the math is not mathing you know all those little things we see just try to make it make sense and so i made a joke though saying that i would write a book on that it was a joke at first and then i was on work and i was talking to a colleague of mine i'm like do you think i should you know probably write a book because this happened i'm like nah it's gonna say as a joke a few days later I had this friend from the Bahamas. She had just finished her flight school and so on. And while she was working, the guys around her were like, how can she afford to fly plane? Somebody paid for her, some guy paid for her to do this. I'm like, that is so not nice. Mm. And I think we need to start the encouragement from a young age. So basically... It's not only about the girls being inspired to do jobs in aviation, but it's also to encourage the boys to appreciate and love the women around them because just the same, they can do plumbing, a woman can do plumbing. They can fly a plane, a woman can fly. It's just to have a balance and appreciation. So a story for the girls to know that, okay, I can actually do this. And for the boys to appreciate the girls doing it because as i said we can all share the same interest it's just who really wants to go for it and who don't want to go for it so that's Mm -hmm. where it is with the title and the the how the book came about but like in terms of the story so as i said it's an encouragement and as a young girl reading through this book, you would learn about the different careers. Well, just some of the different careers um, you can get involved in in aviation. I would probably say right here in Grenada because sometimes we have to start at home. And Sorry. you will see the usual check-in clerks, you know, from an air- a little airport tour. So Zola said they had a little airport tour, so they saw the check-in clerks. It's all the airport security, the meteorologist, an aerospace engineer. I'm not going to explain what an aerospace engineer is because you have to read the book to find out what That's an aerospace right. engineer is. It's right there in the book. Um, we had the air traffic controller like myself, the pilot, yeah. flight attendant. Well, the biggest surprise in the book was the pilot. But as I said, that's for persons to read the book because there are two surprises. <laughs> There are two surprises is for the readers to grasp the surprises, especially one, it may not be so obvious, but you know those kids these days, they have a a different brain. And uh, when I got a review of the book, I did not expect a child to tell me about that also. It's up to the viewers and the readers to, to pick up that surprise in the book. But yeah, and there's a little activity section to the back where you get definitions and dates of various aviation days, which are very yeah, just, useful. Yeah, just right. Just a yeah. <laughs> That's because right. So, that. right. Um, well, that right. page was designed by me. <laughs> I took mm-hmm. a little free time and designed that page. Um, but yeah. And so in other books, they can expect like little activity pages. It could be definitions. It could be probably the parts of a, a an air hostess uniform. Just right. diving into different things. You know, as I said, it's a whole learning process for everybody, young, old, and yeah. Yeah. And there's something that I definitely want to touch on because 
there are a lot of aspiring authors um, out yeah. there. And, and this is an incredible market for children, just sharing stories, doing stories for for our children, from us, you know, for yeah. you, for them, that kind of thing. This is all on you. This was um, more or less your help. Oh, kind of self-published right yes is it, it is actually self-published yeah yeah that's the uh, illustration oh. i did not do but <laughs> yeah yes and just a shout out to nadika alexis who's your illustrator on this i really love it i really love it i want you to sneak in something for me um just a little bit of a segue um i want you to let folks know that yeah it, it is it might be difficult and i know it's difficult to, to self-publish mm. at times but it can be rewarding. You have to have so much patience because, you know, yeah. ultimately this can be the perfect way to have, to earn a passive income, so to speak, you know, but yeah. it takes time, you know? How Trust tough was it? it? How much of a challenge was it for you to just get it off the ground? It was, I think I procrastinated a lot because I wrote the book in like one sitting, just the story was written in one sitting. And as it's a children's book, it's easy to write. And then, then there was that, and then getting the illustrator, finding an illustrator. However, Nadika is just from an Osprey right away. She's from Karaku, so it was very easy okay. to get to Nadika. And the putting together the the pictures with the words that was also a bit challenging, and then the page formatting the book was insane but I think the most stressful part for me was actually publishing and going through the process of publishing now for the book to go live the cover page which was something like this background picture the cover page was given a bit of trouble like I had to format the words away from the edge and all of that and that was 5 30 in the morning well actually probably 4 30 in the morning i was getting ready for work and i had to sit on my computer and try to fix this before i leave for work so yeah. it took a lot put, yeah it took a lot it. Yeah. but it's worth it and but it's so worth it, it is it's so worth, worth it, it. definitely can you briefly share with our younger viewers for the benefit of our younger viewers a day in the life even though they, they kind of find it out here but for <laughs> you as an air traffic controller a day in the life Break it down well, us. it can be an early day, it can be a late day, it can be fun, it can be quiet, it can be busy, it could be, let's see, a sunny day or a rainy day, because you have to factor in the weather, because mm -hmm. as you know, planes fly into the wind, so if it's windy, it can be a bit difficult for pilots to land an aircraft, or it can be very good for them. It's all up to the pilot and how they handle or maneuver the aircraft. You know, it's constant communication with pilots, whether they're landing here or they're landing in Barbados or Cephas. Because we actually do talk to flights going to Trinidad or St. Lucia, St. Vincent or mm -hmm. Barbados. And then we have those, obviously, all on that comes here. So it's a lot of talking from time to yeah. time. A lot of talking, <laughs> I would say, but as I said, everything is all is all worth it. But it can it get extremely busy. There are the highs, and there are the lows. Of course, the highs are you hear different voices. You hear guys. You hear ladies. You hear the Portuguese pilots, the French, the Spanish pilots, the Brazilian, those from all over the world. And then there are the lows where it can be extremely busy. Mm -hmm. No room for mistakes, so you have to be all on the P's and Q's, you know, get ready. And it's not like we can reverse because everything is constantly moving forward. Things can't yes. stop in the sky, they can't reverse, they can't make a mistake. You could fix it once you pick it up early, you know, but it's lives in our hands and we can't make yeah. a mistake. So you have to be very alert, you know, well rested. Yeah. Have yeah. good medical, good eyesight, everything. You know, apart from your yearly medicals, which are mandatory, you have to do your regular checkups for yourself as well because, you know, all that can keep you away. But 
it's a lot. It's a lot. Yeah. The training, the train, you have to prepare to go back to school. <laughs> the training, the late night studying, but meeting people that can help you work together and all of that. And then the next thing we have to remember, you know, there are sometimes they may not they are not that grand or anything to worry persons about, but you know, some of the emergencies probably a plane hits a bird or just an indicator in the aircraft that the plane has to come back. You know, nothing to scare persons, but you know, all these little things that you have your procedures to do and so on. Yeah. Yeah. Fantastic. Fantastic. Yes. Now, you know, we have a we have a special appearance. Um and this is a special surprise right here on this episode. We have a special little person that's coming to read in a few minutes. So we are going to take a short break. When we come back, we have a special surprise guest reading an excerpt from Adventures of Zola and Sage, Women in Aviation. We'll be right back after this. Hello everyone, I am Leila Fletcher and today I'm going to be reading two pages of Golan Sage Women in Aviation. The girls were extremely happy at the end of their tour, not knowing they had another huge surprise waiting for them. When they got home, they spoke all about their tour and who they met. The girls then fell asleep early after a very long day of excitement and walking around. They dreamt about the women they saw around the airport and the many planes they saw. Get your coffee now. Welcome back. Certainly hope you've enjoyed that little excerpt there from my special guest. Layla, thank you so very much to Layla for joining us on the show today. And yeah, I've been posing with this, but this is actually her signed copy. Thank you so That's much right. again, Kiana. No problem. Thanks and so thank you, again. Layla, for the wonderful reading. <laughs> yeah, she did a fantastic job. So before That's we right. wrap up, just before we wrap up, Kiana, I want to find out now that we've had Layla reading, you know, how does it feel to have children from all over the world being able to experience this story firsthand? Because I know you may have clients or customers, not just in Grenada, but I know in the US, Europe. How does it feel? That's right. That's right. So it's always a surprise, especially when I check my sales and I see I got a sale from like the UK, Canada. Well, the US is almost obvious because we have a lot of places in the US. I think I can say the same for Canada and the UK, but my biggest surprises were a sale from France and Australia. I had persons from Kenya reaching out to get books. So I guess they ordered through Amazon UK because yeah, they because of their marketplace and persons all over the Caribbean region they would order from Amazon US. I had some in a school in Anguilla, Jamaica, Guyana, Trinidad, St. Lucia, I guess the whole Eastern Caribbean chain from oh, wow. Antigua. I had a lot of support in Antigua, definitely, and St. Lucia. St. Vincent, I had to send up probably about 10 copies to St. Vincent early on this mm-hmm. year. Wow. Barbados has reached out. The Bahamas as well has reached out. Uh, Turks and Caicos. Almost every island country of the Caribbean region. It has done a that lot is, of waves. That yeah. is awesome. And you know why? I mean, I could be wrong. I'm sure there are other stories with women in aviation somewhere. But I think this is a special, it's a special storyline, it's a special niche. And I think this is what makes it so special because it's it's not just about something that is, you know, uh, let's say, well, I wouldn't say traditional, but, you know, popular. And I haven't seen much else um, specifically in the Caribbean region with the aviation. Like I say, I stand to be corrected, but I think your storyline is a great sell. and yeah. listen, every mother, every woman, every sister, every aunt loves the fact 
that we are empowering our little girls. That's right. You know, empowering yeah. our women of the future to explore the possibilities. You know, just give it a shot. Give it a shot. Yeah. yeah. No, when I went for the first time, Adventures of Zola and Sage, what I got at Piana was that Zola and Sage, they put hot. <laughs> There's going to be more adventures. I feel it in my bones. So Definitely. Yes. Do you have any plans for any, you know, let's say, follow-up stories and adventures? Yes. As you said, their feet, their foot hot. You see, you know, we have the, the proper English, but their foot hot, right? So we will have a lot of adventures, probably take you to the different Caribbean islands, different cultures, mm -hmm. sports, and all of that. Um, maybe a little Creole, who knows? Who knows? Because yeah. I know yeah. that's the next one we need to talk, dive into. But as I said, we'll see. But, um, yeah, there are a lot of adventures that would come in, and I think. As we said, we spoke about how it has made waves around the region. I think this book, in the process of encouraging the young ones, I think it should also open not a can of worms, but you know, shine a new light to our leaders in the region to encourage them to push for better interregional travel for all of us. Because yeah. like Zola and Sage, they want to explore, they want to have different adventures. And there would be a child, just as Layla or as my goddaughter Adriana, at their age four and nine, they would want to travel and explore the region, have different adventures, just like Zola and Sage. They may want to get that experience, even if it's just from Grenada to St. Lucia, to see a pilot, to see a flight attendant, probably see an engineer. My first female engineer I've seen was in 2020 working on the Liat aircraft to come back, just doing her regular checks. And it was by surprise I posted her about and someone directed me to her in like three minutes. So, you know, all these connectivity you find in the, your friends online, you want to meet them. So with hopes this book can, you know, make aviation bigger in the region because we have the potential to make it bigger in the region and give more opportunities to our young ones to you know to fly and keep them within our region because we have a lot of west indian pilots flying for american and JetBlue. they come in home but i'm sure they would have loved to have the opportunity to fly home and around the region so mm -hmm. the book and the aviation theme of the book really stretches that far with my hopes i <laughs> i hope but um apart from encouraging it's supposed to teach parents as well as the younger ones it's just a wide spectrum because i don't really have an age group per se because there were adults buying it reading it and learning from it as well so it's just a a broad spectrum of That's learning right. <laughs> yeah. excellent girl excellent and well said remind folks again Kiana, where they can get their hands on a copy okay week. so so you get copies to grenada it's a bit challenging but if you have the means you can get it from amazon online uh, that's the US, UK, Canada, whichever marketplace you choose to use, sure. Or you can reach out to me. I can give you my contacts and my details that you can share so that the persons, whoever they, whenever they see it, they can always reach out to me. I have a Facebook page, Adventures of Zola and Sage. Instagram as well, you can reach out to either of those pages. Shoot me a message. I would organize to get a copy. You can get it signed. They're 25 easy, very affordable for the kids. Christmas is yeah. coming. I can probably right. try to do a little something to add some spice in for Christmas, but yes. So that's that. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Listen, this was long overdue, and I'm so happy that we made the time to connect yes. and get it 
done. I'm so happy and congratulations again. I love it. I really love it. I love it. Thank and I you. Know loves it. I know Layla loves it, and I know lots of other folks are going to enjoy the story. That's the right. And Sage. So congratulations again. All the best. Do keep me in the loop. I love telling folks this. Keep me in the loop for whenever you're planning your part. Two. Yes. Uh, these, these two young madams. <laughs> and uh, probably two young boys as well, because the boys are asking for their story. We okay. cannot leave the boys out. We cannot, we cannot we leave the boys out. So we can look for Dario and his friends. So I will leave it up to the little boys to give me a next name for the boys. So we have Dario and the boys is up to you. Just shoot me names. Just shoot me names. Just shoot me names. <laughs> do it. Do it. I love it. That's I love it. it. And that's your best market there because they're the ones, like you say, they're the ones who are actually going to give you that yes non-sugar coated feedback they're going to tell you as it is that's they're right say, this is that's boring that color doesn't look good honestly yes <laughs> i got it best best so best wishes i know you're thank you her. go do your thing that that's you right. do so well and take good care and give my regards to your family Susanna. definitely will thank you thank so much thank you all right go, go, go. Take care. bye 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 <laughs> Hey everyone, I'm Kirani James, and you're watching Lexan TV, where it's all about life. There you have it. That was my conversation with air traffic controller Kiana Bub. She is the author of The Adventures, well, Adventures of Zola and Sage women in aviation remember it's always fantastic for your kids to read get them started early and of course great story to share with them something to empower them something to inspire them you know get them reading today and it's such an amazing story there's so much information in it you've got to make your purchase find out the full nitty-gritty of the story but until then we just uh we want to remind you that we've got a break coming up um, we're getting closer to the conclusion of 2022. We do take a break periodically from time to time to get more great content put together just for you. And we're going to have some exciting things coming up and coming your way for a wee cooking comeback. It's been some time, but we can assure you that we do have some great wee cooking episodes coming your way. So until next time, I want to say thank you always. Thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting. And thank each and every one of you who continue to like the page and share the content today. Take good care. All the best.